Hi guys, Ryan Dowd from Hesed House here. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I'm working 16 hours a day, seven days a week. So is the rest of the staff here. We've all moved into this hotel to keep Hesed House running. Uh, on Monday, we picked up the entire homeless shelter and moved into a hotel because we had an outbreak of COVID at Hesed House. And the only way to contain that outbreak was to get that social distancing that is completely, absolutely impossible in a homeless shelter. So here in the hotel, everybody's got their own room. Here's the problem, at some point we gotta go back to the shelter system and the shelter system is not designed for a COVID world. So, I got a little proposal here. I think it's time for our country to consider ending homelessness. Now that might sound absurd, but, but bear with me here. Homelessness, we think of homelessness as something always existed in our country, that's not true. Homelessness, as that we understand it today, has only existed in our country since about 1980. Prior to 1980, we really didn't have homelessness, not, not the phenomenon that we experience today. So it's a relatively new phenomenon in our country. The second thing I wanna say is that we think that, like, oh, homelessness cannot be solved. That's absolutely not true. We know as a country how to end homelessness. Those of us who do this for a living, we, we have the tools, permanent supportive housing, rapid rehousing. We've got all these different tools to do it. At Hessen House, 92% of the people we see are gonna be out of that shelter within one year. Only 8% are with us a year or longer. We know how to end homelessness. What we lack, is the will as a country to do so. Well, you know what guys, now is the time to get the will, not just because it's the right thing to do for people who are homeless, but also because it's the right thing to do for our country. Because our shelter system was designed to be as cheap as humanly possible. Meaning, how many people can you jam into a small amount of space? That is the worst possible scenario for COVID transmission. Meaning, it is in our country's best interest, it is in every American's best interest that we end homelessness today. How much is that gonna cost? Well, those numbers are available too. Again, we know how to do this, guys, and we know how much it's gonna cost. The cost is about the price of an aircraft carrier. Our country has 13 of them. So, for the cost of an aircraft carrier, which, by the way, is a heck of a lot than we just spent on those stimulus bills. We can end homelessness in our country and end one of the sources of transmission that we're going to have going forward if we don't do so. So that's my thought. Uh, but again, I'm tired. I'm a little ornery because uh, 16 hours a day, seven days a week is not sustainable for, for me or the rest of the staff. And so maybe it's time, guys, that we just end homelessness once and for all. And um, I'll, uh, I'll go practice law or something. I'm happy to find another job once homelessness no longer exists. So Thank you guys, we're gonna get through this, but we're gonna get through this together and we're gonna get through this together by caring for the most vulnerable, which is why it's time for us to have a serious conversation in our country about ending homelessness. Thanks guys.